Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me in orbit with some rather large looking spacecraft. Two of them, in fact. Um, these are some carriers I built using the B9 parts. Basically, B9 um, has been taken over by a new developer, and you probably already know this because this is old news. Um, but basically, just been taken over by another developer, and they've added a bunch of really cool parts. And this will actually eventually be in Solar Civilization, my KSP series, simply because I. I use B9 and they don't just do plain parts anymore, they do these huge things. And the reason I have two um, is partly because that one doesn't work, and I'm hoping this one works. <laughs> but basically, just simply because um, I want to demonstrate how just great this runs with these parts. Because basically, these parts are gigantic, but they're single parts. Um, and it's actually a pretty lightweight mod, because each of these modules aren't like a separate one. Like, if I want three like open panels, I just right click in the VAB or whatever and select a different panel rather than going crazy and having to scroll through hundreds of different parts that are basically all the same. But yeah, given that these, I think that's about 36 parts, um, I'll just find out which had the bigger one, which is, the, yeah, this is the smaller one and this is, yeah, 36 parts. So that's pretty crazy. Um, and they have these cool engines with fusion stuff, well not fusion stuff, whatever these reactors do. Um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit, but one of the cool things I like is um, they've added hangers, like cool little hangers you can put in space, and I think that's just a really nice addition. Um, I also think I've forgotten to put docking ports in this particular hanger. Oh no, there's one. Oh, bumped it. It was parallax error. I thought I was further away than I actually am. Um, so I'll select that as a target, open up this docking port. This is just like a little fighter thing I designed just really quickly to put inside one of these hangers and to destroy stuff to demonstrate something else in a second. But yeah, basically I'm just taking a look at this um, as, well, because I want to be doing cool things like this and I think this is a very cool mod now because it's not just awesome planes, it's like awesome starships. And I mean, because I'm eventually going to have this in my KSP series, um, I want to, you know, get used to building carriers so that eventually... Uh, that my carriers aren't terrible when they're going out to jewel and stuff because that's a big part of uh, my plans. So yeah, I've docked inside this hangar, and this is a double hangar, and on the side I just have a single hangar with a smaller spacecraft in it, but yeah, basically these, uh, these, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, ba um, so basically, yeah, I was just pointing out that these run really well. There are no awesome cockpits for this yet, so I've just joined two. Um, basically, uh, Oh, God damn it, that is not the button I meant to press. Um, it does take a while to switch because I have a huge save file. Um, but basically, and I do love these. I'll never stop loving these um, these cockpits. This is one of the B9 cockpits, which I've joined with something else. Um, and and I just love how this looks with all these, all these like glowing things. I think it looks very Star Citizen Elite Dangerous sort of thing with all these windows and glowing panels and all that. And there's camera and stuff. Um... Just, oh, you can see the end of the cockpit over there, you can see curb in, it's just a couple cameras, I think that's quite nice. Um, and they update this one as well, I'll show you inside here, just in case you don't know, this isn't really the focus of the video, but I do love what they've done with, what B9's done with, like, the stock cockpits, cockpits as well, because they've updated the interiors of that. Um, because, well, the interiors are fine in KSP, but they're not amazing, I mean, um, especially the, um, well, especially this hangar, no, this interior, this is terrible. They really need to do, to do something about that. But yeah, um, this like plane hangar now has this thing. I freaking love this thing. Um, and then all these things that they just update, which is quite nice. Um, caution, do not open in flight. I want it. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, whoa, that actually gets me out. Holy crap, did not know that. That's insane. That's awesome. Anyway, um, I have other things to do. I'm going to demonstrate basically the, these engines, because these are multi-mode engines, not like multi-mode engines like the Sabre engines, um, because, well, they don't switch between air breathing and non -air, and closed cycle. These switch between closed cycle and, um, if I toggle mode, hybrid plasma, which is generated by these generators. These generators are basically giant RTGs, which also give these the ability... Oh no, hybrid plasma just requires a lot of electric charge, which these big-ass generators do. So if I toggle these... Um, to all be hybrid plasma, because obviously we love hybrid plasma, um, for some reason. And then toggle, no, damn it, toggle mode, I meant activate engine. God damn it, me. 
No, that's... Ugh, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. That's activate engine. I'm just clicking at random buttons. Yeah, so when I ignite these engines, they use the hot rocket mod, and that's basically like a nuclear engine, and that's what these are basically now. They have like an ISP of about 840, and they provide pretty decent thrust. Um, they can actually get a lot more thrust if I have more electric charge. Um, something went horribly wrong there. It was it like swerved off target. Anyway, so yeah, about 4,000 kilonewtons of thrust, which seems like a lot, but these are really heavy spacecraft. Look, if I uh, go here, it's only 93 parts, but it's about a thousand tons. So, you know, but yeah, you can see I've significantly moved my orbit even with that because still a lot of thrust. So yeah, I could easily escape Kerbin. I'm in a high orbit, so I have basically no help from our old friend, the uh, um, Oberth effect. But yeah, you can see right here that it's just basically escaping. I'm not even pointing the right way, I'd like to say. Um, but yeah, this is actually slightly off center, so that's not perfect, but I think that looks very cool. And if you want a little more thrust, you can turn it to liquid fuel and oxidizer mode. Well, actually, this does burn liquid fuel and oxidizer, as you can see here. But um, yeah, so if I toggle the mode to closed cycle, um, you pr you've probably already seen this in other videos, but I have more talking to do, so stay around. It basically provides more thrust, and if we take a look at this, yeah, we get about 20,000 kilonewtons of thrust out of that, and if we take a look at that, throw Nora about out quite a lot. I'd love to do more, but I've kind of screwed up the central mass of this, and even with these giant reaction wheels, it's not really helping. But yeah, I could deorbit as well if I so desired, which I do desire, because I want to throw this into the atmosphere. Oh, God damn it! I'll just flip it all the way around, because I do want to burn this up in a second. Well, don't have deadly reentry installed, but I want to fuck it up then. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever the word is. Um. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So that broke. Um, <laughs> what? That was the other hanger. Just broke off. Cool. Um, that's awesome. And this isn't going to deorbit. Mm, terrible day. Anyway, um, we'll forget about that and just forget about that hanger ripping off. I guess just from the force of it spinning. I feel like I was going to say something. Yeah. Basically, I do like these engines because they're not like interstellar. It's not like you have to know a bunch of stuff and learn a bunch of new things. It just uses liquid fuel and oxidizer, and if you want more efficiency, you have to just stick this on there. And these do make great SSTOs, actually, so you don't have to worry about getting them into space. They'll get themselves into space if you build them well and don't use fair amount of space. Um, but yeah, so I think this is just a very cool way of doing it. Um, just not adding loads of extra mechanics, just basically being like, the, I think it's a very Kerbal way of doing this, actually. I think it's pretty much the most Kerbal way I've seen of doing like really futuristic stuff, because it doesn't add really any extra mechanics, as I've said. I mean, a few cool things, of course, which is nice, like hangers and just awesome stuff. No, don't redock, you prick. <laughs> um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, they missed the bar, missed the bar, missed the bar. One thing these don't serve as very well um, is like battle cruisers, because say I use these be no, uh, these be the armory turrets which I conveniently have on here and I'm like hmm I want to destroy this then I just weak as crap seriously this is not very defensible these aren't even big cannons so yeah don't try making battle cruisers well you can obviously I'm not telling you what to do and you could probably armor them with normal panels um, but yeah basically well yeah see these stand up a little better these normal parts um, but yeah now I've just committed a murder so great great good day uh, yeah, so no, oh, I feel like I had some kind of roundup. Um, yeah, so I will be using this in the future. This was just more of my first review, not really review, just kind of first look at it, and um, kind of first crude attempt, a very crude attempt indeed. Given that, um, given that I failed horribly. Um, give it well, yeah, because I didn't really plan it very well, and the center of mass was off. But yeah, this might be coming in. Well, probably will be coming in Solar Civilization, my KSP series, if you don't know. Um, and might just be in general other videos if I think of something cool to do with them. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything right now for them. Um, but there is, yeah, as I said, if you like the idea of interstellar travel, or not interstellar travel, just kind of, um, you know, futuristic, big engines, but are like, I don't really want all the crap of um, interstellar, which is a very complicated and just lots of mechanics -y mod, which I love. Um, but a lot of people don't. I think this is just a nice way to go. Um, and there aren't many engines. 
because there's only that one engine, so you don't have lots of cool little things. But I think if you want to build the battle cruisers, then this is the best way to do it, because if you tried to do that with normal parts, something that big would be horrifying. But yeah, I will leave you with the image of this burning up horrifyingly. No, more horribly, I think would be the word. Um, oh yeah, no interior. Thanks, KSV. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is probably gone on long enough. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope this has been kind of a video, because it doesn't really feel like much of a video. It feels like I've just kind of been like, Oh, whoa, look at those casings burn up. That's the BD Armory casings. That's the best thing in the world. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has just been such a what-even video. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.